So the Oculus Rift is dead. Ugh. Hey, what's up guys? It's Dre here. And yes, I have taken a break, but I am back. And since I've been gone, well, there's been a few changes to the Oculus Rift. Starting with the CEO of Oculus leaving, announcing that the Rift 2 is basically dead. And a new Oculus Rift called the Oculus Rift S being released early next year. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what happened that forced the Oculus CEO to leave Facebook, what the Oculus Rift S actually is, and what this means for the future of PC VR gaming. So stick around. All right, so let's start at the beginning. On October 22nd, TechCrunch reported that Brandon Arib, the former CEO of Oculus, who was now leading the PC VR division of Oculus, was leaving the company. Now, according to the article, Brandon Arib left Facebook specifically because the Rift 2 was canceled. According to the article, there were fundamental differences between the direction that the Facebook executives wanted to take Oculus and where Brandon Arib essentially wanted to take the PC VR division of Oculus. The Facebook executive team is a lot more focused on cheaper standalone VR headsets so that more people essentially hop on VR. And the thinking does make sense. If having an expensive PC is a roadblock, focusing on devices like the Oculus Quest that don't require an expensive PC makes a lot of sense, especially if you wanna get a lot of people using VR. Now, Brandon Arib was not interested in the strategy. A separate article from TechCrunch quoted him as saying that he was not interested in compromising experiences for essentially bringing more mainstream attention to the VR platform. And this trend of executives leaving Facebook, specifically co-founders of the companies that Facebook acquires, is unfortunately something that's not new. And so all of these internal shakeups leave us in a weird spot, especially when you consider the future of the Oculus Rift. So with the Oculus CEO leaving, where does that leave the Rift to? Well, Facebook was very quick to release a statement. While we can't comment on our product roadmap specifics, we do have future plans and can confirm that we are planning for a future version of Rift. All right, so now I'm confused. Is the Rift 2 dead? Is it not? Well, according to sources, the Rift 2 that Brandon Arib's team was leading is officially dead internally. Instead of releasing an Oculus Rift 2, Oculus is gonna release an S update, kind of similar to the iPhone S, essentially making it just a very small upgrade when it comes to the display and the optics, and replacing the external sensors and using the inside-out tracking that they announced with the Oculus Quest. But if you're confused with what the difference will be between the Rift S and the Oculus Quest, well, you're not alone because I'm one of those people that is a little bit confused between what the difference will be. One potential difference is being able to hook up your Oculus Rift S to your PC using a USB-C port, which the Oculus Quest has, but doesn't support the virtual link technology that would allow essentially the Oculus Quest to become a full PC VR headset by connecting it directly to a PC. So yes, time will tell what the Oculus Rift S will bring, or how it will be different between that and the Oculus Quest, which does leave the future of VR PC gaming in a really weird spot. Well, in the short term, it leaves an opening for companies like HTC, who can essentially double down on what they've done with the Vive and become the company that does still want to bring high-end PC connected experiences to the marketplace. But as far as the Rift, well, it does mean that over the next few years, we're gonna be seeing more headsets that are that essentially are optimized for standalone and mobile experiences than the high-end experiences that we're used to with the external sensors that came with the Rift. In an interesting article by Palmer Lucky, who was the other co-founder of Oculus that left Facebook last year, oh, I know. He recently released a blog post that said, free isn't cheap enough. And in this blog post, he made a really audacious claim that you could give every person in the world a high-end PC and a Rift for free, and that still wouldn't do anything in terms of actually increasing adoption or increasing interest in virtual reality. Ultimately, price is a huge important factor, but the biggest thing that will keep them is engagement, bringing quality experiences to VR. Because essentially it comes down to this, Despite all the progress that has been made in bringing more headsets to the marketplace, the experiences just aren't there 
enough to bring the normal person back to VR. And I have actually experienced that. Despite me loving VR as much as I do, sometimes with my Oculus Go, the experiences just aren't good enough. And with Oculus's announcement and Brandon and Reeb leaving, I'm not exactly sure if the future is looking bright when it comes to that. Now, Brandon and Reeb left Facebook because he wasn't interested in working on compromised experiences. And if the company as a whole has decided to move away from PC gaming, which traditionally gives a headset a lot more power and a lot better of a foundation for developers to be able to create those compelling experiences, well, I don't know how a less powerful device will do that. But time will tell. And I'm really curious to see what you guys think. So go down into the comments below. Do you think that PC VR gaming is dead? Curious to hear your thoughts. My name is Dre. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and I'll catch you in the next one. So what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be the Oculus Rift S, then the Oculus Rift S Max, then the Oculus Rift S Max R Plus Pro? <laughs> Just joking, it's a bad joke.